If you are sick of the heat, I have good news. If you are hoping for more rain, have good news for you too. Take a look at what we're tracking over the next couple of days. Tomorrow is going to be the last day in a very hot string of days, and then we will get much cooler, noticeably cooler on Sunday. But along with that cooler air, we are going to be tracking a lot of storms here over the next several days into early next week. So let's jump right into your forecast. High temperatures tomorrow, upper 80s for Colorado Springs will hit 97 in Pueblo. Another afternoon where we will hit 90s and triple digits across the plains. These Temperatures will hit them before the thunderstorms begin to move through. That's expected to happen during the afternoon. If you have anything you want to do outside tomorrow, do it in the morning. By 6 a.m. through the mid morning hours, plenty of sunshine. But then into the early afternoon, the clouds will begin to build and the storms will pop up over the mountains. This is a look at 2 o'clock. The majority of the activity across the mountains along the Palmer Divide. But as we take you into the late afternoon and into the evening hours, the storms will be get will begin to get a bit more scattered and a bit more widespread. Storms that develop tomorrow will be capable of producing heavy rain and they will be very slow moving, just like the storms we tracked today and we tracked yesterday. The best time for storms to develop and move over your area will be between about 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock. And if we get any of these storms to move over area burn scars or areas saturated by rain out there today, we will be tracking the potential for flash flooding, something that we will be concerned about tomorrow, but even more so on Sunday. Here's a look at your skycast beginning at noon on Sunday, and storms should already be rolling as we take you into the lunchtime hour. Watch what happens, though, as we head into the late afternoon and evening. By 5 o'clock, check out all of that yellow on the map. All along the interstate, skycast is suggesting we could be tracking some pretty strong storms, and even as we head into the late evening hours, we are going to keep those storms firmly in place so it is looking like Sunday could be one of those days where the storms don't end as the sun sets, but instead we could track some strong storms sticking around into the first part of the night. So a very active day tomorrow, but an even more active afternoon is expected on Sunday. With the storms increasing, we are also going to be tracking temperatures decreasing. 78 degrees is going to be your high temperature on Sunday. So the heat that we have been battling for the past several days is going to come to an end. As we head into early next week, the 70s stick around, but the storm chances stay high. 40% chance for storm Sunday, 30% Monday, Tuesday. We'll taper that back to 20% Wednesday, Thursday. Friday looks a bit drier and we'll start to warm that temperature up, but 70s here over the foreseeable future as we move past Saturday. 97 degrees tomorrow in Pueblo, 84 on Sunday. Temperatures staying in the low 80s then for Pueblo, Monday through Friday of next week. Best chance for storms Sunday through Wednesday. Canyon City, 95 tomorrow. Canyon City also dropping into the 80s. We'll track a 30% chance for storms through Tuesday, 20% chance for storms on Wednesday. Wednesday, 79 degrees in Canyon City. Teller County, 79 tomorrow. We hit 75 on Sunday. Low 70s Monday, Tuesday. Then check that out. Wednesday, Thursday, we're only getting into the 60s. So several very rainy days. That does mean a high chance for flash flooding here over the next couple of days, something we will be tracking very, very yeah. closely. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get a little cool down, though. That'll be nice. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. Thanks. You bet, Rachel. Well, talking about a cool down.